and welcome back to my channel. So for those who are new here, hi, my name is Imana, and today I am so excited because I feel like I haven't shown one of these inspired bags in forever. It's definitely a different type of bag. It's not a canvas bag. I don't think that you guys are ready for this, but I do think that you will like it. So definitely stick around to see what it is. I'm super excited. We have all talked about, I want to say maybe last year, we talked about Louis Vuitton doing more like leather goods, focusing on more so of their leather bags because the canvas bags, we saw a lot of discontinued items. We saw, you know, it just, I don't know. And the prices are still going up. The Neverfulls are what, $2,000? now the speedies are expensive like everything is so expensive the alma bbs so it looks like they're focusing more of their attention on some of the actual like leather goods and their price points on them baby um they're high like expensive high like first class luxury plane ticket high okay so i'm definitely here to show you a little bit of an alternative um but something that you still get the same vibe with so i'm excited to show it to you but before i get too far into this video i want to go ahead and do my subby shout out i have three subby shout outs the first one goes out to la quinta alvis the second one goes out to latrice latin alexander and the third one goes out to Chantel hicks hi ladies how are you thank you so much for subscribing thank you for commenting i really do appreciate it just like so many of you others if you haven't already then definitely go ahead and subscribe and join the family but if you're anyone who's like me sometimes it takes me about two or three videos to go ahead and subscribe to someone's channel so i'll have a video here for you here for you and right here for you and after you watch one or all three of those videos hopefully you'll go ahead and subscribe and join the family so now honey let's just go on ahead and get right into it so the first thing the packaging of this bag absolutely loved it wasn't expecting anything less um this is pretty much what the box looks like you guys saw in the thumbnail it did have the bow on it and all that good stuff honey once i take the bow off i can't tie it back on there so um i have it here i just can't yeah no it's not my thing so um but the box looks really really good um it did come with you know the little wrapping paper um and a nice little dust bag so judging from the dust bag and from the size of the box this is going to be another small bag um but i thought it was really cute and definitely something that i wanted to try now after looking at the authentic price of this bag this is definitely not a bag that i could ever really see myself purchasing the authentic version of um i think that it's really pretty i think that it's definitely more of a spring summer type of bag i don't think that i would really carry this in the fall or winter but i will say that it does come with like two bags so like one bag one mini wallet so i'm like okay like i i see where they get the price point from but again the price point that they have it's still ridiculously high so i still don't think that it's something that i would want to get my hands on also i don't know if you guys watched my last one of my last videos when i was showing you the prada bags and telling you about my trip to london and south africa and all that stuff so i wanted so bad to go shopping in london i really want to get my hands on an authentic alma bb now the reason why i want to get it in london is because they are about 300 to 400 dollars cheaper than it would be if i were to buy it in the states so i'm still thinking about if i want to go to london for my birthday and things like that and i know some people will say like it's not worth it but it's also just the experience that i would have of shopping in london and like buying a Louis Vuitton in London like that's just something that I want to experience so the price would be worth it to me and it's a little bit cheaper than the states sign me up honey okay so definitely still trying to figure out if that's going to happen but I want to say that is probably the last authentic Louis Vuitton bag that I would want which is the Alma VB in the Demi era being canvas so still really want to get my hands on that but I know that you all want to see what the new bag is what does it look like i will also say that i have looked at some pictures and i do think that this bag looks really good i think it's definitely classic for the classy babes the bougie babes and you know just the babes that want a really cute bag that looks like this so let's hop right into it um like i said this bag does come with this mini wallet attached to it so my thoughts on how they have this mini wallet personally 
I think that it's cute. I think that like the color of it, it's giving like ice cream vibes, vanilla and strawberry. The practicality of actually like carrying it like this, I also see why they do it. So let's say you're out, you're shopping, you need to quickly like get your card out. You can easily do that with this being on the outside of your bag. But let's also be realistic. Um, I just pay with Apple Pay. <laughs> like I already don't really take my debit card out anymore. So to have this out is honestly really just for show. I don't really take my debit cards out like that. Um, and I am gonna show you guys what it looks like on. So for reference, I'm about five, five and a half. Um, I'm not all that tall, but I did adjust the straps to uh, where it's like the longest you can adjust it with these little clasps right here. If you're a little bit shorter than me, so if that's a concern that you have, you're like, oh, I'm a little bit shorter than that. I don't know if that's actually gonna work. These are adjustable straps, which I love. I do not like when bags come out with straps and they're not adjustable because everybody's not the same height. So this is what it's looking like on me. So you see from the side and all that stuff. So it falls right at my hip, which for me is perfect because my hands can easily open the bag, get what it is that I need to get, bada bing, bada boom. And so, like I said, you can adjust this. So the one thing that I will say is like, this bag is really good because sometimes when I have gotten a bag that's like this, I wanna say the Nia Nue also has a strap that's similar to this. Sometimes the bags aren't that great because the clasps don't line up perfectly and so you can't really adjust the bag, but on this one, you can, so I like that. So you'll just unsnap this and then you'll bring it down. So here you go. And then um, you'll snap it down at the bottom, snap, snap. Okay, cool. So, mm, okay, maybe I spoke a little too soon. So you see how it's like a little that part? Yeah, don't really like that. Like this should, I think it should be a little bit perfect. I'm also trying to see, yeah, there's no way that I can smooth that out. So, eh. <laughs> I really wanted to love it. I mean, I still love it because I'm tall enough to where I can extend it out. But for someone who's a little bit shorter, um, I don't know, unless you just didn't. So you guys see there where like it's just a little bit a little bit off um but i'm still gonna show it so like if you're carrying it like this you can still carry it on your shoulder and it still looks nice so that's the straps component you also can take the straps off so let's say okay maybe i do understand the price point because there's a ton of different ways that you can carry this but you can take the strap off completely so let's say you are going out on a night out and you kind of just want a little clutch, okay? So this is pretty much what it looks like if it's up under my um, arm. And then if I carry it like this, you can't even really tell what type of bag it is that I have, but you can still carry it as like a clutch. Now, is it a big, big for a clutch? Mm, yeah, but is it doable? Absolutely. Another thing I wanna say, I don't know where my um, pearl handle is but if you are a little bit shorter and maybe you just want to carry this as like a really cute top handle you can also just accessorize this with like a pearl top handle dang now I really do want to show you guys what it looks like but I really don't know where my pearls are at the top so I was going to show you guys what it looks like with like the pearl handle but I can't find mine at this exact moment but they have them on Amazon Literally all you have to do is search pearl top handle or pearl chain handle, and you can easily add that on top of here. And I think that would be like really cute. Now this, y'all know, I always have to talk about the little girlies and the little mommy and me bags. So I feel like, you know, this is still super duper freaking cute. If you did have a little girl and you wanted her to kind of like, carry the bag now it would have these little um clamps right here um let's see so if you did have like a little mini me and she's with you and she just kind of wants to like play with your bag you can still i mean probably get a different strap but how cute would this be for her to just be walking around with her little wallet oh my gosh i'm telling y'all like if i have a daughter it's literally over okay like it's over but this little wallet i think is super super cute just kind of like 
The material of it looks really nice. Um, opening and closing it is pretty easy. This is what it looks like on the inside. It does have a little pocket. So I was actually thinking like, oh my gosh, this would be like a super cute like wallet wallet. But for me, I, I think this is really pretty. I, however, would just need like a snap. I need something quick. Cause you know, if you're in the lines for too long, people can get a little bit impatient. Um, and quite frankly, I don't be having time for that, which is another reason why I typically just use Apple Pay. So that is pretty much the bag. I think, like I said, I think it is definitely a great bag. Now this also does come off um, with these little clamps right there. And if you wanted to just kind of like put it in the bag, you could definitely do that as well. And then um, this is what the inside of this bag looks like. So definitely pretty small. If I were to do a quick little like what's in my bag, I don't think that I'd be able to fit a ton of stuff in here. Okay, so now to kind of show you all like what fits in here, it's not gonna be a ton and I actually do have another bag. I'm looking at it right now that is still another twist. So a little bit bigger than this. So I'm gonna show you that one in a second, just so that you can get like a size comparison. So this is my everyday wallet. I've been using this wallet for mm, maybe like two years now and it fits perfectly in the bag. Um, and let's just say I'm, I'm going out, dinner date, girls night out, you know, blah, blah, blah. So wallet, lip gloss, um, hand sanitizer, and my mirror fits in there. It's honestly getting pretty full. And then I always have a glasses hanky and I typically always have some nail glue in my bag as well and it fits. So this is definitely not a throw everything in the kitchen sink type of bag. This is a, I'm going out, I just need a few essential items. And like I said, you can still carry this as a crossbody. Honestly, I really do think that like this bag with a pearl top handle on there, I'm literally kicking myself in the butt because I cannot find my little um, top handle. I really don't know where it is, but I know that it would take me forever to find it. Just trust me, I will link it down in the description box down below, which is the handle that you can get off of Amazon. It's it's literally so cute. Um, but this is definitely like a I'm going out type of bag. Now, the only other thing that I would be a little bit cautious about is like, can I scratch this bag up? Um, I definitely think that you can. Yes, you probably definitely can scratch the bag up. I also do think that you could probably scratch this. But the one thing that I do like is think about this. You're going out for drinks. You're carrying this bag. And let's just say, you know, you had maybe a little one too many and something spills on this bag. The one thing that I do like about the leather goods is like that liquid should easily come off. Now, if it's red wine, I cannot speak to that. But if it's like a shot or like a, a little drink or like a, a mojito or something like that, you should definitely be able to get that off. I cannot tell you guys how many times I have like gone out or I've heard of people going out and they're spilling something on their bag and sometimes they can't get it off because of the material. This is definitely one of those bags where it's like, you'll be okay, you'll be okay. Another thing that I typically carry are like my little shout to go wipes. Those are in another bag that I have, um, but those would definitely fit in here. So this is pretty much what the bag looks like packed. Um, and I say always have those. Now, this material right here is more of a suede material. It's really soft. If you do get something on it, it may be a little hard to get that off. But other than that, the outside of the bag, just how it looks, the classiness of it, the cuteness of the pop of color with this, I think it is literally so stinking cute. And like I said, even with this wallet, so if you're someone who, you know, you want something small and you're looking for something like, you get a two-in-one, honestly, like you can't beat that. So the last thing that I wanna show you is the other bag. I wanna say that I, I showed this bag like last year, but this is the one that I have. So this is the black one that I got last year and I definitely have carried this one out for drinks with my friends. This bag I use more so in the fall and winter um, just because of like the handle, but I still like this one. And as you can see, it is bigger than the other one. So I can fit a little bit more stuff in here than I can in here, but it's still, oh my gosh, it's actually dusty. I haven't carried this in forever, but um, this is still a great bag. It does have an extended strap with it, but these are the two that I have. And I will say that like, if you're asking about like the easiness of opening and closing, like as you can see, it doesn't stick, it doesn't get stuck or anything like that. It's very 
easy to open and close. Now this little wallet, it's a little bit harder just because the stitching on this is a little bit thicker, but you can still open and close very easily. And when I say get stuck, it's just on this part. Um, so you see when I do that, just because that's a little bit thick. But other than that, like it still opens and closes like pretty easily. Um, and like I said, the inside is also really, really nice. So I definitely would say that if you're looking for something um, for a nice going out, nice gala, classy event, definitely, definitely look at this and see if it would be good for your lifestyle or for the events that you have. When it comes to ROI, I talk about ROI, which is the return on investment. So when you're looking at the price and you're like, am I going to get my ROI out of this? Think about how many types of events you go to, to where you'd be able to carry this. Or would this be like your it going out bag? Personally, I think for spring and summer, this is great, especially if you're wearing like whites, nudes, pinks, greens, this bag would be perfect. Um, I have started dibbling and dabbling a little bit on TikTok. So what I might do is create a cute little TikTok of kind of like outfit ideas that you could wear with this. Um, so we'll see how it goes. If you're not following me on TikTok, definitely follow me on TikTok. My name is, it's just my name on there, just like on all of the other platforms, just Imana Carol. But other than that, babes, I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. I hope that I've shown you something new, maybe opened your mind to a different type of style of bag. Comment down below, is this something that you would add in your collection? Do you think that you would get your ROI out of it? And where would you carry this bag to? Because honey, as soon as I find my dog on um, pearl top handle, I'm carrying this to brunch, okay? And won't nobody be able to tell me nothing. It's gonna look so cute next to my mimosa. But other than that, babes, that just about wraps it up. I hope that you all have a great evening or morning wherever you are, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.